propagande, on les aime bien pour ne pas dire qu'on les adore. Et pourtant, qui dit propagande dit souvent doctrine, dogme, bourrage de mou, donc méfiance. Sauf peut-être aujourd'hui. Propaganda isn't really a concept band, but the general idea behind propaganda is being a band of the 80s, heading for the 90s, being aware of what was going on in pop, being aware of history and being aware of the mechanism of pop. That means being aware of the media and with the name propaganda we wanted to point out that we are aware of it. Well, it happened three years ago that um, we met in Düsseldorf, we all coming from Düsseldorf and we formed propaganda and um, sent a tape to England, but at this time ZTT didn't, didn't, um, didn't exist and um, we didn't know about them, so when we got the, on the label, ZTT just started. I mean, it was the beginning of ZTT and we didn't know about this label and the concept. So uh, we don't see us as uh, ZTT puppets. It was luck that we were on the label. It's democratic, we all do 25, 25, 25, 25, everything, yeah. Michael is mainly doing the music, he's programming the computer, um, and then, well, and Suzanne and me, we do lyrics and music, and so does, so does Ralph. Well, we are not a rock and roll band, but, I mean, in Germany, it would have been very difficult to get a label for a German band called Propaganda. And as London is the center for pop music, we wanted to go there because we wanted to work in an international, um, <laughs> international level. Well, as you might all know, I'm still having a 9 to 5 job in Germany. I'm working in a bank and I give you my account, my account number, it's 9942. 814. Please be generous. It's Westdeutsche Landesbank in Düsseldorf. Thank you. Yeah, well, it's, it, it's kind of a business question. It has been. Because, of course, I, I uh, wanted to know what's going on with propaganda. And the way how I organize this, I mean, uh, going out of the orchestra was a bit, well, a question of time in a way, of course. But, uh, I wanted to leave, I mean, for me, propaganda was a tool to, to do something else, to get in a, work in a, a different way, but still with music. So uh, it worked out well for me to do that. In that time when we started, and, and, and I was still working in the orchestra, I think, of course, I was even maybe subconsciously a big influence because I'm, uh, I was just jumping, you know, from one side to the other. and and. Uh, I don't think you can't help to stop thinking, well, if you hear one opera every night, for example, it has an effect of, of your own, on your own work, I think. But it's not something like a special uh, conceptual idea to bring classical music into pop music. This is not so much what we want to do. I mean, it's kind of, we try to work with themes as well. Maybe there's a kind of similarity, but not the actual composing way is different, I think. I mean, obviously, the product is different as well. So there are some, some, some classical pieces of music which I think would, I, I would like to work on in a, in a different way and maybe use it for propaganda. Uh, I thought about King Lear from Ryman. Do you know this? It's a very heavy modern opera. I mean, this w could be something, you know, which, which, which might be interesting. <laughs> What's going on in the back of that? <laughs> yeah, nowadays, pop music is more or less trash and we want to bring back let's say certain quality into pop music into the charts and we aim towards it with our music with our words with everything because i think pop music could be important and could be about quality not only about quantity i'm michael ralph ich bin susanne just wie claudia no song propaganda